Hey everyone, my name is Kit and I am here to do a collective tarot reading for this week coming up. This will be the third week in April 2023 and this is, a, like I said, a collective reading. So when you're drawn here this week, that's when you're meant to view it. I'm going to clear the energy. I'm going to let the energy come to you as well. Clear the cards. And let's see what's going on for you guys this week. Okay. Universe guides angels and spirits. I invite you now to come speak to me through these cards for my collective. Please protect me and my collective from all that is evil. Surround us in white joyous light, encapsulated in shimmering purple. Send our grounding cords deep into the earth and speak to me through these cards to guide us to an answer. All right, let's see what is going on. What is going on for my collective this week, the third week in April, 2023? You know, I was drawn to use these older cards that I haven't touched in ages. So that's what we're doing. All right, people, we have the world, the world, we have strength, okay, one more, and we have the Ten of Wands underneath the deck, we have the Five of Swords, so this week, there's an end of a cycle. And this end of a cycle could be a little frustrating. It could be a little painful. Um, it's going to take a lot from you to see the good in it, right? And a lot of times when an end of, when something ends, right, um, it, it, it isn't always pleasant. So there is an ending coming this week. Could be a job, could be a move. You know, it could be something that you really need to keep your strength, keep yourself in a positive mindset over. If you look at this strength card, you know, you see this person is very happy. This is my way of knowing that whatever cycle is coming to an end as sad or as painful as you may think it to be, right? It's a good thing because there are things coming towards you that will make it better, much better, okay? Um, we all get stuck in this mindset or this comfort zone, so to speak, and the comfort zone isn't always the zone to be in at that moment. All right, let's see what else is going on. Spirit. Why is the world here, please, for my collective? Why is the world here, please? Thank you. One more card, please, for the world. Why is the world here? There we go. Okay, so the three cards we have here we have the sun. That was the first card to pop out, the sun. The world, the end of this cycle, whatever it is, is going to have you seeing things much more clearly. Um, crystal clear is what I heard. Crystal clear. You will be seeing things clearly. This, in turn, will be making you happy. You may be guarded at first. You know, you may be a little worn down. Whatever this ending is, it's going to, you know, it's going to wear on you mentally a little bit, I think, but you're not at, you're not down for the count because with this strength card, it's going, it shows me that you're going to be okay, right? Whatever this change is, this is something that has taken a little bit of while to happen, but you'll also see with the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles gets the job done perfectly. It may take a little while, but it's done perfectly. So just know that whatever that is that's coming in for you, it's going to be wonderful. All right, Spirit, why is strength here? Thank you. 
What else, please? So we have the five of pentacles that came out. We have the three of wands. Okay, and we have the six of pentacles. So look, we have the five of pentacles. Initially, you're going to feel abandoned. You're going to feel lost. You're going to feel like um, you're going to feel that lack, right? It's, it's almost like a feeling of lack. But this is something you've been waiting for. You've been waiting for this for some time. You may not realize that right now, but this is something you're definitely waiting for. And this is going to bring balance into your life. You're going from the Five of Pentacles to the Six of Pentacles. This is all about balance in your life. You may not think that your life is that unbalanced right now, but once this cycle ends, this week, you're going to see that, oh wow, yes, this needed some work, right? And why is the Ten of Wands here? Whoa, that one really wanted to come out. The Five of Wands. There's drama, that's conflict. The Page of Pentacles. News is coming in. That's going to cause perhaps a little conflict and a little drama. And again, we have the death card. Doesn't surprise me at all. So the first card that came out is the Five of Wands that talks about um, possibly conflict and drama and, you know, all that stuff. And yeah, that's going to bother you. That's really going to bother you. This is not your cup of tea. This is not your lifestyle, right? It's not how you like to be you know it's not a situation you like to be in but this is going to happen you know whether it's small conflict small drama i think it is but there is some news that's coming in about something being said and done with the death card and that death card i'm not afraid of it i'm not afraid of it because when something ends something new begins and I really feel that this week this end of a cycle that's going on it's all for the good it's all for good things coming in it's all about that balance it's all about equal give and take you guys might be going to a job for some of you that pays more money you don't have to work as hard to get to where you are or where you're going, right? I, I do see that there is some money in here. It's taken some, some time. It's not for everyone. Take this as it resonates for you. All right, let me pull the Psychic Tarot. Spirit, what advice do you have for my collective for this week? What advice, please? I haven't used this deck in a hot minute either. I miss these decks. Advice, please. Okay. Too many, guys. Too many. One card, please, if possible. One card. Advice, please, for my collective for this week. The third week in April 2023. Advice, please. that one. Disruption. Yeah, well, that's what we're talking about, right? That's what we said. So we have disruption here. Just know that this disruption isn't a bad disruption. You may perceive it as that in the beginning, but it's not. It's to bring in balance, right? It's to bring in clarity for you all. So just know that this week, Although it may, at the time, seem a little uncomfortable. And again, I don't see anything major, major, but I do see that there is something changing for you guys. And I see it as a good change, as much as you may think it's not at the time. All right, well, there you go. I love, love, love you guys. Please, if you're not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to thumbs up. And if you are subscribed and came back, hello again, and I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.